welcome to my channel. My name is Tori Lynn. Let's blossom today. So today's video is a really easy holiday look. Um, I used two different ColourPop collections that I have previously used on my channel and um, those videos will be linked down below but I just wanted to do a simple holiday everyday look something you could wear all throughout the holiday season that is super easy super simple but it looks really pretty and just has that nice little holiday vibe to it so if you guys want to see how I got this and what collections I used just keep watching so let's just get into it let's get into the skin let's start with the foundation so um, I thought I would use the pretty fresh uh, hyaluronic acid tinted moisturizer from ColourPop again. I used this in a video a few days ago, or actually it's probably a week or so ago, and I liked it, and I've used it a few times since then, and I do like how it looks. I feel like it's a really nice, soft look. You don't get that full coverage, but it still looks good, I feel. But I have noticed that in both the foundation and the primer, which I have already put on this this morning, um, both seem to separate. And I don't know that I like that. Like, I feel like I need to, before using the foundation, like smush it up in the bottle. Like, I don't know if it has oil in it or if it's the hyaluronic acid, but something in it separates really strong that I've never really noticed in the foundation before. Especially when it's only been a few days, you know, since I've used it last, like, Usually foundations that sit for months start to separate, not days. But, um, so yeah, I don't really know if it's the hyaluronic acid or the oil or what's causing it to separate, but um, I do like how the foundation wears, so I'm gonna continue to wear it, but I thought I would just do kind of a little like update with you guys, if you guys have seen that video. If not, I will link it down in the description box below. But let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm gonna use, again, the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer is my foundation today, and this is in the shade Fair 1N. And I'm just gonna be using the beauty sponge that comes with it. So this stuff's pretty runny, so I'm afraid to tilt it over, but like, yeah, you can't see it, but it's got, like, you know when you cook with like a lot of butter and something liquidy and you can see it like settling in the top and it kind of has that weird oily look like that's what this looks like you can see where the oil settles or the I don't know the acid whatever it is settles in the kind of creases of the glob of the foundation if that makes sense so for today's look I just thought that it being December, you know, Christmas is coming up, or the holidays, if you don't celebrate Christmas, but the holidays are coming up, and it's winter, you're getting close to winter, and you know, the weather's getting cold, so I just thought I would do a light, kind of wintry holiday look, something easy that you could wear on the daily if you'd like. I feel like every season, my day-to-day -day look changes so like you know in the fall I wear a lot of the oranges and the yellows and just you know I kind of stick with the colors of the season and now winter's getting kind of you know cool and crisp and kind of more cool toned look like I don't know does anybody else have that like your everyday look kind of changes with the seasons based on like the colors of the season Am I the only one? <laughs> Let me know if I'm crazy or not. Since we're using the Pretty Fresh foundation and I used the um, primer, I'm also going to go ahead and stick with that same line and use the concealer. This is in the shade Fair 20N.
And I'm gonna go ahead and bake my under eye using my Cody translucent air spun powder. I'm gonna go ahead and toss on my brows real fast. Now that my brows are done, I'm gonna go ahead and move into the eyes, and today I'm gonna to be using the ColourPop Midnight Masquerade Palette. This eye look is gonna be super simple. I'll start by taking the shade called Pimp. Pimp? Uh, nope. I'm gonna start by taking the shade called Pip, which is like kind of a warm toned light brown. Has a little bit of pink in it. Work that shade into the crease. So the shade will just work as our kind of blending transition color. Next, I'm gonna go in with this darker brown shade here called Quasimoto. And I'm gonna focus that on the outer half of the crease. I'm gonna take my favorite blending brush and just give that a nice blend, soften everything out. Next, I'm gonna take the shade called Spinning Wheel. It's a really light, shimmery shade. And I'm gonna pack that on the lid. I'm gonna use that same shade spinning wheel as my inner corner highlight and the brow bone highlight. Now I wanna go in with the shade called a Mrs. Potts. It's the really bright gold shade here in the center. And I'm just gonna take a tiny little angled brush here And I'm going to work that shade under the lash, the lower lash line. I think this adds just kind of a fun a holiday effect to the eye. I want to go ahead before we move back into the face while we're still on the eyes just go ahead and toss on a wing I'm going to use my NYX epic ink liner so that wing got a little thicker than I was uh, going for but moving on because it is what it is so I'm gonna go ahead and take my NYX matte finish setting spray real fast 
and just spritz my face down. This is gonna give everything a nice lock in before we really get it set. Then I'm gonna take my favorite mascara, which is the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara, and I'm just gonna go ahead and give my lashes a nice coat. All right, let's go back into the face. I'm gonna start by sweeping away my excess baking and then setting the rest of my face with, again, the Cody Translucent Air Spun Powder. For bronzer, I'm going to be using my Hoola bronzer from Benefit. Then super quickly, just going to go and contour my nose. going to use the horse and carriage highlight from the Disney designer collection and then to blush her up staying with that same collection this is the shade kissin a frog I love how soft and subtle that blush is. It just melts into that bronzer so nicely. It looks so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my same NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray and just give her another spritz down. This will lock everything into place for good. All right, and to finish off this look, I'm gonna go ahead and use the uh, ColourPop Disney Designer Collection Lip Lippy. This is in the shade Prince Naveen. It came in the duo of the blush and lipstick. So um, I think in the other video where I used this collection, I used the one that came with the Cinderella highlight, which I believe is called Prince Charming. And then now I'm going to use this one. So. I figured this lip one, it goes with the collection, and two, it just gives us that nice holiday red lip. All right, guys, so this completed the look. This is a really easy holiday vibe going on. I just wanted to do something light and airy using some of the collections I have already used, which actually tended to be all ColourPop today, but that's all right. But I just want to come out with a super simple kind of holiday, winter, everyday look. If you guys like this look, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more videos. I will see you guys next time. Bye.